हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज स्वाति देश पांडे टीचर टूडे आई विल बी कवरिंग वन मोर इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम एट स्टैंडर्ड स्कॉलरशिप मैथमेटिक्स सेक्शन द नेम ऑफ द टॉपिक इज पॉलिनॉमियल्स सी स्टूडेंट्स इट इज रिलेटिवली इजी टॉपिक ओके यू कैन इजीली स्कोर मार्क्स इन दिस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट इमीजिएटली लेट्स नॉट वेस्ट टाइम राइट ओके वॉट इज द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ पॉलिनॉमियल सी दिस इज अ पॉलिनॉमियल Standard form of a polynomial depends on the index of these terms. Okay, so let's start with the highest index. This has three, this has two, this has x raised to zero, and this is x raised to one. So we can write the standard form like this in descending order, or in ascending order, or like this. doesn't matter only thing is it must be in order ascending or descending very very easy so standard form of the polynomial means depending on the index you have to arrange them in descending or ascending order let's do it the coefficient form of a polynomial is 1 0 1 0 -4 -1 -4. what is its index form this type of form is index form and this is coefficient form okay so how to convert this coefficient form into an index form let's do it x this is 1 and this is x raised to 0 this is x raised to 1 this is x raised to 2 this is x raised to 3 and this is x raised to 4 okay so let's do it 1 into x raised to 4 plus 0 into x raised to 3 plus 1 into x raised to 2 plus 0 into x raised to 0 minus 4 into x raised to sorry this is 1 and this is x raised to 0 correct 4 3 2 1 0 0 now Find out one into x raised to four is x raised to four. Zero into anything is zero, so no need of writing this. One into x square that is x square. Again zero into x raised to one means zero. Minus four into x raised to zero. X raised to zero means one. Minus four into one is minus four. So this is the index form. Isn't it easy? Tell me honestly. Very very easy. ओके चलो आगे बढ़ते हैं स्टूडेंट्स आई हैव रिटन टू सम्स ऑन द बोर्ड रीड द फर्स्ट वन व्हाट इज द डिग्री ऑफ द पॉलीनोमियल दिस इज द पॉलीनोमियल व्हिच दे हैव गिवन स्टूडेंट्स व्हेनेवर दे आस्क यू द डिग्री ऑफ एनी पॉलीनोमियल व्हाट यू आर सपोज्ड टू डू ऐड द इंडेक्स ऑफ ईच टर्म एंड व्हिचएवर इज द हाईएस्ट दैट इज द डिग्री ऑफ दैट पॉलीनोमियल फॉर एग्जांपल हियर a रेस टू 3 दिस थ्री वेरिएबल्स आर देयर a b c राइट सो a रेस टू 3 b raised to 2 and c raised to 3 here it is now we can see no need of wasting time here see this is 2 now since we are practicing i am writing it here okay no need of writing it at the time of examination so this is addition is 8 this is 4 and this is 6 highest is this so 8 is the degree of this polynomial okay looking at it only we come to know this is the highest one No need of wasting time there, right? So easy. चलो आगे बढ़ते हैं. What is the remainder when the polynomial x cube plus 125 is divided by x plus 5? See, we are dividing this by this. This is a divisor. Means this must be a factor of that. In case if there is remainder, it will remain. But we are assuming this as a factor. So x plus 5 is equal to zero. we have to take it as x plus 5 is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to minus 5 now we must substitute this minus 5 into this polynomial so let's do it x cube plus 125 minus 5 cube plus 125 here again you should know that whenever minus is there and this is odd index is odd The value of this is always negative or minus. 
So 5 cube is 125 but because of this minus the value is minus 125 and this is plus 125. So obviously answer is 0. So as the answer is 0 what does it mean? This is completely divisible by this. There is nothing left out. Means whenever we divide this by this, we are getting remainder 0. Means remainder is equal to 0. This is our answer. Easy, isn't it? Chal, aage badte hai. Students, read this sum which I have written on the board. If a minus 2x plus 5x square is divided by x minus 2, the remainder is 7. Find the value of a. Here they have given remainder. Remainder means extra. What they are trying to say? If we divide this by this, then remainder is 7. Means 7 is extra. So our job is first to remove that extra. So let's do it. Minus 7 I am doing. This is what they have given. Then minus 7. So that now whatever is the value of this, will be completely divisible by x minus 2. So x minus 2 must be the factor. So we have to take x minus 2 as 0. So x is equal to 2. Now very easy. x ki value 2 dalni hai. Chalo, start karte hai. 2 into 2 plus 5, 2 square minus 7. So a, this also we have to take it as 0 because we are substituting value of x as 2 depending on this. So, when we divide this entire polynomial by x minus 2, we should get, after removing that remainder 7, we should get answer 0 because remainder 0. Okay? So, that's why I have written here 0. So, minus 4 plus 5 into 4 minus 7 is equal to 0. So, A, now bottom mass here, please be careful. Plus 20 minus 7 is equal to 0. So A now add all this or minus whatever depending on the sign. Minus 4 plus 20 is plus 16. Plus 16 minus 7 is plus 9 is equal to 0. So A is equal to minus 9. A is equal to minus 9 is the answer. Isn't it interesting? You have to understand, this is the factor of this polynomial when we subtract 7. So this is the one. When we are substituting x is equal to 2 with the help of this we have found out, then the value of this entire polynomial will also be 0. Okay? Then substitute that 2 and find out the value of a. Very, very interesting. Let's go ahead. Students, read this sum properly. When 2x square minus ax plus 7 and ax square plus 7x plus 12 are divided by x minus 3 and x plus 1 respectively, the remainder is the same. What is the value of a? Means, this is one polynomial. If we divide this by x minus 3, x minus 3 means we have to take x minus 3 as 0. So x is equal to 3. We have to replace this x or substitute this x by 3. Okay. And as far as this is concerned, ax square plus 7x plus 12. This is divided by x plus 1. So x plus 1 is equal to 0. x is equal to minus 1. So we have to put x as minus 1 here. And they are saying remainder is same. After dividing this particular polynomial by x minus 3. Means when we will dis, uh, substitute this x by 3. We will get some remainder. We don't know how much. And same way here. When we substitute this x by minus 1. We will get some remainder. How much we don't know. But they are saying both the remainders are same. So instead of writing equal to 0. There is a remainder, so we cannot write equal to 0. But whatever is that equal to, in both the cases it is same. Remainders are same. So we can equate this. Okay, so let's do it. 2, 3 raised to 2, minus a into 3 plus 7. 
is equal to a minus 1 square plus 7 into minus 1 plus 12. So this is 2 into 9 minus 3a plus 7. This is minus 1 square, so 1. So 1 into a is a only. And this is, please be careful with the signs, plus minus minus. 7 into 1 is 7 plus 12. So let's bring these numerical values together. 2 into 9, 18. 18 plus 7 is 25. So minus 3a plus 25 here. And here it is a plus 5. Now we will bring all a's together and all numerical values together. So minus 3a, I am bringing it that side. So a plus 3a and this my, uh, 5, I am taking it this side. So 25 minus 5. So 20 is equal to 4a. Therefore a is equal to 20 upon 4. 5. 5 is the answer. a is equal to 5. Isn't it easy? Understand the concept of polynomials. Once you know how to divide a particular polynomial, how to write the polynomial into coefficient form or index form, how to find out the degree of polynomial, these are all basic questions which they can ask. Okay? Once you know the concept, whatever or whichever polynomial they will give, you will be in comfort zone, isn't it? Okay? So understand. Understand and learn. That's why I always say, enjoy studying. Don't do anything mechanically. Okay? We are through with this important chapter now. If you have any queries, mention them in the comment section. I will definitely try to solve them. Okay? Students, if you enjoy my videos, then please share them with more and more students. And in case you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to like in case you like the video. Okay? And uh, I will come with the next video very very soon. Till then, study well. And very important thing is, yes, enjoy studying. Bye.